Hey guys, Alley Entertainment. So I haven't done one of these in a while just because I haven't been really finding anything that has been catching my eye and plus none of you guys seem to really watch these so I don't even know sometimes why I do them. Anyway, what's going on in the entertainment world for myself? Um, well, you guys have recently got back from, back from Mexico. Uh, if you guys checked out my frustration video on the resort but I did have fun and I enjoyed my company um, and I haven't really seen a lot of movies in the movie theater um, other than Love the Coopers. It's a Christmas movie. I'm hoping to have um, a review of that up in a few days after this one. Um, some other movies that are coming out to you guys. The new Star Wars movie. Everybody's talking about it and uh, the Hunger Games. It's actually supposed to be preview night tonight, I believe, and it's coming out tomorrow. Anyway, um, you guys, again, I'm addicted to Netflix. Right now, I'm watching Switched at Birth. I finally finished A Different World. And I'm also um, watching another show, a uh, TV show. It's like a camp show. I'm just going to find the name of it. Wet Hot American Summer. So that has a lot of... Um, name actors and actresses in it. Uh, if you look it up, you'll probably know half of them. Maybe all of them. Um, okay, so let's get on to the world of entertainment. I know you guys in the news have heard all about uh, the Paris bombing, which that absolutely sucks and my hearts go out to everybody that got injured and whatnot. Um, but on from there, you guys, the, one of the big things that is being talked about now is Charlie Sheen. Okay, so a week before the news broke, TMC had um, put a whole bunch of stuff saying that there's this A-list actor that's had HIV and whatnot, and somebody's threatening to come forward and say something. And then a week after that, finally it broke that Charlie Sheen has had HIV for the last couple of years. Um... And I guess he didn't tell anybody, really. Uh, first things first, I don't consider him an A-list actor. And another thing, you know, I know it's his personal life. Um, I, I do feel bad for him because of the fact that um, I think he got kind of pushed to tell the truth. And now pretty much everybody's saying that he's going to go broke because he's going to have a lawsuit up the yin yang because he didn't tell these girls he was HIV positive when he had sex with them. But I mean, girls, what do you expect? If he's had over 200 partners in two years, I guarantee he probably caught something unless he wears a condom and, I don't know, gets tested every single time after he's with a partner or takes some sort of drug that immunes him from anything. Um, anyway, there's going to be tons of stories. So there's already a lawsuit in the uh, works right now. Apparently six girls have signed on um, saying that he did not disclose HIV. You know, it doesn't matter who you are, you guys. Having, having not telling anybody that you have some sort of sexually transmitted disease, it's not okay. It's really not okay. But again, people shouldn't just be having sex just for the fun of it. Um, you guys should be in a loving, committed relationship. Anyway, you guys, check out TMZ. I'm sure there's going to be tons of stuff um, coming up in the next week or so. More on it. So, um, yeah. And another thing, you guys, I reported on this before. If you guys are a 19 Kids and Counting fan, just... Duggard is back in the news because apparently, I don't know, a porn star is suing him for P was rough with her during sex. I just feel bad for Anna Duggard. I know she's probably going through lots and I just kind of wish that people would just leave him alone. People make mistakes. People do stupid stuff. I know that. I've made stupid mistakes and done stupid stuff myself, but um, I just, I feel bad, so, um, 
Yeah, you guys, I don't really have much else to report on. I want to keep this kind of quick and fast, so maybe you guys might have actually watched the end of my video. Anyway, I hope you guys have yourself a great night.